I always thought if I saw somebody's name on a bridge, they must be somebody. <laughs> and, I, and here I am. And they've got a big green and white sign at the starting of the bridge. One thing I don't like is to hear people say, Christine West Bridge to no place. I said, we're going somewhere. Southern West Virginia has almost no four-lane highways. Two major highway projects, the King Cole Highway and the Coalfields Expressway, have both faced significant challenges finding funding. Some sections have been stalled completely for almost a decade. I've been a die-hard Democrat all my life and all of my family, but I think all of us voted for Trump. I know I did, because we have faith and hope that he's going to bring highways and, and different things to our, uh, really help our county. I think about all Southern West Virginia voted for President Trump because he gives us hope, you know, with his infrastructure, his billion dollar infrastructure plan. We're hoping that uh, that comes through, that the Congress will work with him. We've lost over half of our population in the last 20 years because of the outmigration of people looking for jobs and work. Now we're hopeful that, that the federal government will provide some help through an infrastructure bill. Our county has never been developed. We're just like a new frontier. All we've basically done is mine coal. So we need to develop our county and without roads, you just can't develop your county. We need a highway to, to put us on a level playing field with the rest of the state, the country, and the world. We know that, that highways bring economic development. This is the only way that, that we're going to provide a way of life for the people who still live here. On, on the roads and stuff now, there's a lot of accidents on 52. It's one of the highest per capita people traveling the highway. They have a huge number of accidents. Once they have this highway, it's going to really help on the uh, safety issues for it and also for the travel time. Today to drive from here to here it's about an hour and 15 minutes on conventional highways. When this road's completed it'll be 23 miles. The coal trucks the size of them now are so huge and our roads weren't built for those. So it causes a lot of roads deterioration, potholes and this and that. Because of our terrain it, it costs anywhere from 10 million to 30 million dollars a mile to build a highway in this part of the country. Our mountains are so rough, they're straight up and down. People lost hope because we'd been promised things over and over and over, promised all kinds of things. They never came about. Now they really have hope that this, you know, things are gonna happen that uh, President Trump promised us. It, you know, right now, that's all we have is hope. So I think it, uh, our future is in him right now, in President Trump.